understand that Southern Baptists, I believe, still are quite aware and quite convictional about the fact that the office of pastor is restricted to men. Now, here's where confusion among us becomes very dangerous and uh, very subversive to our ability to cooperate. That's why I believe that it's very important that we recognize that our confession of faith, the Baptist faith and message, comes with very clear assertions and it comes with consequences. And uh, inevitably, we are going to have to define many of these issues by how much we really are in friendly cooperation with one another. Now, there are those who say, you know, this is just one of those issues that has arisen. It's not central and essential. But let me just say that uh, the Southern Baptist Convention has been struggling with this issue and seeking to articulate this conviction for 40 years. This is not a suddenly developing issue. What has arisen is the fact that some churches are quite honestly, straightforwardly telling us that they are basically out of sync with the Southern Baptist Convention on the issue of women preaching and women holding a pastoral office. And this is where, honestly, I think the only way for the Southern Baptist Convention to deal with this is to do so by some mechanism, such as the bylaw amendment that was adopted last year and approved and now comes before messengers again. I really believe that this bylaw is very important. I believe that it isn't developing anything new for the SBC in terms of conviction, but is basically just applying the convictions we've been saying for decades, frame the reality of our cooperation. I also want to say that even as I support the amendment, and hope to see it passed again and overwhelmingly as a statement of common conviction. I want to point back to the convention just last year, 2023 in New Orleans, when it came to dealing with this question with some specific churches, the SBC did so with clarity and with overwhelming consensus. That didn't mean it was easy, but it did mean that Southern Baptists recognized it was important. I don't want to set up the Southern Baptist Convention to have to do this year after year after year as if we don't know where we stand on this issue. Oh,